him. And some people think, yes, he like brainwashed and people were blindly following him and they, they viewed him as their master. So if I'm going to look at the Osho situation, I think he had so many traits that a lot of leaders have. So he was charismatic the same way everyone thought Obama was charismatic, yeah. right? So being a charismatic leader, the way you speak, the way you engage your audience, that energy around you. And I think that comes from confidence as well. Being yeah. so confident in your own skin that when you walk into a room, you own that room and people wow. feed that energy. They feel it. They are like, I want to be near you. And in this documentary, wow. one of my partners was like, one of the people who was his secretary said, even though he had like betrayed her for years and she ended up going to jail and all of that, when she was reminiscing on it, she's like, I felt fulfilled. When I was in his presence, I felt everything. And I was thinking to myself, wow, wow. like oh, the awesome. energy he gave literally took someone's free will away from them. That they were like, you know, we, we are at your feet, master. So I think definitely confidence and charisma. Uh, yeah, and like you said, it's all about the energy, isn't it? And if somebody's got energy, that's just, you want some of it and you don't know, yeah, it's, it's things that you can't put um, a title on. Hi, Alia. Um, wow, Charis charisma, yeah. Energy, no, I think that's really interesting that you said that. What else then? So charis charisma, confidence. Charisma, confidence, vision. I mean, you really- Oh yeah, vision. vision. Yeah, so like, where are you taking people? Even with like at work, like if you're a leader at work, like you usually tend- Oh, it's got stuck. So definitely vision. Um, people skills. For sure, like being able to communicate. I've noticed this. I don't know if you have, but like you go into a party and there's this, there is always that one person that can find something in common with you. Like they can just start a conversation and they, they make you feel seen. I think that's what a great leader does. Makes you feel oh. heard and seen. And you feel like your presence in that moment matters. And this was the case in the documentary. They're like, you know what, we were in a room with a thousand people, but when he was talking, I felt like he was talking to me. So, wow. yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if you've been in presence of like so many religious leaders or like Dr. Wayne used to have this energy. Like, even if I would watch him on TV and I met him in a conference, I thought he was only speaking to me. And I think God. that's a great like that's a leader. How do they do that then? How how do they? Because I've heard that before as well. When they say that, oh, I felt I felt like they were speaking to me. They, but how do they do that? How do the leaders actually make people feel like they're only speaking to them? Is it just being completely present? But then, mm -hmm. even in a room full of hundred people or something, how do they? I think they're not shy to show up as their authentic self, regardless of what you think of that. Like. Even with this TV show, I mean, I really encourage you to watch it. You might not agree with 90% of his whole movement, but I think because he really believed in what he was saying and yeah. his intention could be manipulation or his intention could actually be ways in consciousness, we don't know that. But because he believed in the way that he was addressing it, that authentic nature, like wow. he wasn't trying to copy anyone else. He was one of the first spiritual teachers to say, you can be spiritual and wealthy. This was against the norm. The norm was always, if you want to be spiritual, you have to let go of material possession. So he said something revolutionary. I think that's another thing with leaders. They, they go against the status quo yes, and they're so yes, authentic yes. in it that yes. you're like, maybe I'm wrong. I need to follow them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's really interesting. Um, yeah, going against the status quo. And that takes courage to, and try something new. They do it first. And that's just, and like you said, self-belief. I think that's everything, isn't it? Even if, like, you can believe somebody, even if they're talking absolute rubbish, if they say it so convincing, you can believe them. Whereas if somebody's telling the real truth, but they're full of self-doubt, you know, you don't believe them, do you? It's all about 
how you come across. That's so true. Um, did you see Kate? Kate's left a question. I can't see it now. Can you? Because it's gone out. Um, yes. Do you oh, think good. you can learn leadership skills or it's more natural and something you're born with? I think both. I think, I think the greatest leaders are born with it. But I think you can also be a wonderful yeah. leader. Yeah, I, I, but this just goes into like so many different concepts. For me I know. sometimes, <laughs> you know, like you, someone is born and you feel like they're 100 years old. They just have so much insight and wisdom within them. Like uh, I felt like that when my brother yeah. was born. He's 10 years younger than me. But mm -hmm. ever since he was eight, nine, he was like a nine year old man, like his vision of the world and the way he saw the world and the topics he was interested in. So I think I, I believe in past life. So I feel like in his past life, he was probably a philosopher or something around because it's not normal for a seven year old or an eight year old to have these interests. They are interests that you gain later on in life. So yeah, I think some leaders there in previous lives they were leaders like oh, some great well, leaders. Okay, and okay. that's what i think i the time is going to go platform the time Such is like, oh you can, we can't <laughs> japanese can we what does that say <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but no but thank you um so much um Tanaz and everybody else who's um who can, oh, so, oh, thank you yuka and thank you everybody it was lovely